In this lecture, we are going to talk about passing data to ASP.NET Core application using form fields and how we can retrieve its value on the server in ASP.NET Core application. Generally, we use form fields when we want to create a new resource using an HTML form. For example, creating a new user by filling up a registration form or creating a new product by using a create product form. Now, the form values are added to the request body in two formats, either form hyphen URL encoded or as form hyphen data. So these are the two form formats in which the form data is sent to the server. Now, in case of form URL encoded, the content type of the request header is application slash x hyphen www hyphen form hyphen URL encoded. But in case of form data, it is multipart slash form data. The form URL encoded, it is the default one when we are using an HTML form and it is simple one. But form data, it is a bit complex one. In this lecture, let's try to understand each of these formats and what is the difference between them. And let's start with form URL encoded. So here, let's first go to this book model. And from here, let me remove this from route and this from query. And now we are going to read the values for the properties of this book class from form fields. So let me go ahead and let me run this application. Let's copy this URL from here and let's go to Postman. And from the Postman, we are going to make a post request because here we want to send the form data in the request body and we cannot send any request body with the get request. We can send it with the post request or put request or patch request, but not with the get request. So here I'm going to make a post request to this URL. So this is the root URL and there let's say slash books. And since we are making a post request, we also need to specify a request body. Now here, there are several ways in which we can specify a request body. But here, we are going to select this option, x www form url encoded. So when we select this option, that means we are going to send the form data as form url encoded format. Here, we are going to specify the form field and its value. So here, let's specify the form field. It is going to be book ID. Let's say the value for this book ID is 120. And let's also specify the author. And let's say author is maybe Steve. Now, when we are specifying these key value pairs, they will be automatically converted into a query string format and it will be sent as part of request body. Okay, the query string format, which this format will create, it will be sent as a part of request body and not as a part of URL. Keep this point in mind. So let's go ahead and let's make this request. And when we are making this request, you can see that on this action method, the breakpoint has hit. If I hover over this book and if I expand it, you see the value for author is Steve and for book ID is 120. So the value which we are passing from the postman. Okay, let's continue this. So in the response body, you can see book ID is 120 and author is Steve. But now the data has been read from the request body. Also keep in mind that the form data has the highest priority. No matter if we are using form hyphen URL encoded or form hyphen data format, the form data will always have the highest priority. So in the URL, if I go ahead and if I specify the route parameter also, let's say slash 101 for book ID slash let's say author is John. If I run this and if I go to this book, you will see the author is Steve and book ID is 120. So this data has been read from the request body and not from the route parameter. So the priority is something like this. First, the first priority will go to form data. Then the next priority will be request body. Now we have not talked about request body yet. Then it will be route parameter. And finally, the query string. So query string has the lowest priority. Okay. So here we are reading the property value for this book class from form data. Basically, from form URL encoded. 
All right, let's go back and let's continue here. So here we have the response. All right, so this is about form hyphen URL encoded format. Then we also have this form data format. And if I select here, here also we can specify the form data as key value pair. So again, here let's say the key is book ID, value is 560 maybe, and another key is author, and value is maybe Jonas. Let's make the request. Again, the breakpoint has hit. If I hover over this book instance, here we have author as Jonas and book ID as 560. So it is also working as expected. Let's continue from here. And here you can see the response body. So book ID is 560 and author is Jonas. Now, when we use form data, the format of the data in the request body will be a bit different. So in case of form URL encoded, the data which we pass that gets converted into a query string like format and that gets sent in the request body. But in case of form data, it looks something like this. So first we will have some hexadecimal number prefixed with some dashes like this. Then we have this content disposition after that form data and then the name of the field and its value. Then again for the second form field, we have some hexadecimal number prefixed with some hyphens. Then we have content disposition, form data, name of the field and its value. And if you notice, the value is not in the same line. It is below this line. So this is the format in which the form data format sends the request body to the server. And you don't have to worry about this data format because this data format will be automatically generated based on the request body by the client. Okay, so this format will be generated by the client. You don't have to worry about that. So the main question is, what is the difference between form data and form URL encoded? So when we want to send limited amount of information using the form, let's say form has five or six fields, form URL encoded format is more than enough. Of course, it can also handle large form data. That's not a problem. But for complex data and lengthy forms, in that case, form data works better. More importantly, if you would like to attach files with your form, like profile image or your resume, then form data is the only choice. In that case, you cannot use form URL encoded. So when you are attaching some files with your form, in such cases, in your HTML form tag, you have to mention encryption as multi-part form data. Because in case of form data, the content type of the request header is multi-part slash form data. So when you add encryption type as multi-part form data in your form tag, then the browser will automatically add this content type to the request header. And once this header is set, all the form fields will be added in this format in the request body. Now, as a developer, as I mentioned, you don't have to do anything to specify the request body in this format, but it's good to know how it works. All right, so I hope with this, the difference between form URL encoded and form data is clear to you. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.